Welcome guys to my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna be reviewing Ant-Man and the Wasp. So I've seen this movie twice already. And I gotta say, it's really enjoyable for what it is. But I still prefer just slightly the first film. So the characters on this film, um, they're great. Ghost as the villain. Like, mostly Marvel movies, they don't focus on their villains. Meh. But other than that, the, the, the villains there to give the main characters, the superheroes, a story. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> but other than that, this film is good. I enjoyed the characters. Some no, some yes. But overall, this film, Ant Man the Wars, it's really enjoyable. Um, and there's two post credit scenes at the end. Stick around for the first one. Don't watch the second one because it's a waste. But the first one, it's really good. It's really good. That's all I'm going to say. Um, other than that, Michael Pena, he's back as Luis. He's awesome. If you enjoyed how he was in the first one, you'll get the same thing on this one. If you didn't, then you won't like him. Um, What's his name? Michael Douglas is back as Miss Dr. Ping. Pen? Ping? He's awesome. He's great. You see Lawrence Fishburne um, in this new movie. He has a different role. He's not, he was known as... What was his name from the DCEU? Perry White. So he jumped to Marvel films. So he did pretty good. I liked his character a lot. Um... Of course, Paul Rudd as Ant-Man. He wasn't that great as the first one. But I kind of enjoyed him for what it was still. The, the main focus was pretty much on the Wasp. And she did. She was awesome. She kicked ass and everything. Other than that, this film was so good. I enjoyed it. I've seen it twice. So I'm, I'm going to rate it out of 10. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. So yeah guys, 8 out of 10, it's so good. Go watch it, you haven't seen it. Um, and comment, like, subscribe. And let me know what you guys thought about this film. So I'll see you guys on the next review.